Okay, get ready for work with me. It is a level two snowstorm outside right now. Um, and I have to go to work because the only way we would not get in trouble is if it was a level three. So, my butt's going to work. Thank goodness, though, I live like three minutes away from work. But so I just don't even want to leave my house. Like, it's so crappy out. But I have the cutest little snow boots that I'm going to wear. So, I have to figure out how I'm going to style those. I'm doing, like, extra hyaluronic acid today. And that fucking, oh my god. Look, that's dirty. I'm opening up my new one. My whole life literally just failed in that moment. But, um, I'm doing a lot of hyaluronic acid today because it's literally negative 7 degrees outside. So, it's going to be a chilly one. And my face is going to be so, like dry. I don't want it to like crack because I need to retain that moisture. So I checked my Instagram this morning and they did not even give me an answer on my appeal. My Instagram account is just gone. Like literally not even there. It says no posts, user not found. And I'm just, I'm literally heartbroken. So I need the girlies to come through in here and help a girl out and just like blow me up because I'm truly so relatable <laughs> and I have so much potential. I just do not give myself enough credit and I do not give myself enough time, but I'm trying. I want to, I can, I know I can. And I keep thinking to myself like, Deja, you were doing so good on Instagram. Like you were building it and then they took it away and they did not even give me an answer. Like teardrop, but I'm strong. I'm resilient. I've been through worse in my life. I can get through this. I can get through this. It's just, it's just what I thought my career was going to be, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. If I'm being honest, and this is probably a very unpopular opinion, I think the elf is getting played out. I just think they've changed their formula. Look, I've been an elf girl since day freaking one. And I just feel like, I don't know, six to like nine months ago, the formula changed. It's not filling in my pores and it's so oily. Like, I don't know. I just look at my skin and it's literally wet and so oily. I don't like it. It looks good for the first like 10 seconds, 10 minutes, whatever. And then, I don't know, just it, it changes throughout the day. But go to part two for my makeup. On a real note, though, I'm going to show you guys what the freak it looks like outside. Because the wind is like 60 miles per hour. And I'm being dramatic, but still, it's so windy. I have no idea what I want to do for a makeup look. Because, like, this foundation's too dark and this foundation is too light. But I almost like too dark because then I can go in with my concealer and I can just brighten the shit out of it. So I think we're going to go darker. Yeah. My makeup is definitely going to give, I don't give a freak today because I really don't like, I had high hopes for my Instagram account being restored. Because I got on Twitter and I saw all these people talking about how their accounts got disabled. But they were able to do, like, send their IDs in and, you know, da-da-da-da-da. Well, they didn't even give me the option to send my ID in. So, I don't know if my account is just gone forever or what. But, yeah. Not too worried about it. Just was a source of income for me so that sucks my eyebrows have slowly been transitioning from like small caterpillars to adult caterpillars i just don't have the time to care i like thick but ooh, you just can't see it you just cannot see it it is very, 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 very shitty though how many fake accounts of me get to stay on the internet and freaking live and live and live their freaking best life as me. <laughs> Is that not terrible? Instagram, you should feel so ashamed of yourself. 
so ashamed. Okay, but on a different note, can we talk about the time, like, oh my god, a freaking baseball player, professional baseball player, messaged me on my Instagram account that got deleted. <laughs> and was like, come to Columbus, Ohio, are you near Columbus, Ohio? And I was like, yes. And he was like, okay, I'm here with my team. And I was like, okay, it wasn't a huge team, but he had a verified check mark. And I was like, boy, you got a blue check mark. And so he was like, yeah, I'm at this hotel. We're on this private floor. So like, you're going to have to get a key card somehow. And I'm like, how am I going to get a fucking key card? You dumbass. Like, what do you mean? Go to part three. So he was like, you need to get a card from somebody. And I was like, Okay, who am I going to get a card from? You're freaking stupid. And literally, we, like, elaborated for probably, I don't know, two weeks on what we were going to do because he hadn't come yet. And so, he finally comes and he was like, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to hand you the card to the back door and then you're just going to have to come to the floor. But my team was going to be on the floor. Like, it's a VIP floor. And I'm like, I might not make it to your room. And so, I end up being like, okay, what's the game plan? And he was like, come to Columbus, Ohio. And I was like, okay, I'm there all the time. And he was like, come to this address. It's this hotel. And so, I'm like, okay, like, whatever. Sounds cool. And I didn't plan on, like, doing, like, a hookup. But I was like, okay, you have a blue verified check mark. Like, I've never been with a freaking professional baseball player. Let me go see what it's like. And so I show up. I'm like on my way. And I'm like, this already does not feel right. I show up. This man brought me to the red roof fucking inn. So at this point, I'm like, oh my goodness. I don't even want to get out of the car. So I pull up to this little room. It's like on the first floor, which is like another like, Ugh. oh my God, first floor. Okay, whatever. And so it's, like, ground floor, and so I pull up, and he, like, walks out of the bedroom, like, kind of peeks his head out, and I'm just, like, this is a scene of a horror movie. And he comes to the window, and he's, like, are you going to come in? And I'm, like, I don't know. The audacity to ask me for half of the, the money for the hotel. When I tell you, I put my car in reverse so quickly. Because it wasn't even a hotel, it was a motel. And I left. You see, I should have turned around immediately when I knew I was not going to the Moxie where he told me he was staying. But I was like, okay, I don't know. Maybe he just got, like, another nice hotel room, like, with his own money. And no. So, it was, to say the least, horrible. And I didn't block him, but I never talked to him again. And, like, honestly, one of the shitty parts is, is, like, I told him specifically, like, I did not want to hook up. I just wanted to, like, chat, talk, whatever. And he was, like, cool with that. And he takes me to this nasty motel. And I'm, like, what's the premise of this? This is obviously, like, a hookup. And I don't know if you guys have ever watched Tamara. But it's giving Tamara vibes. And I'm, like, No. My scully will not be cocked open on a fucking table today. So I dipped. Go to I suck at doing these quickly, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, so that was the end of my little horror hookup story. And I never talked to him again. And I just went on my own freaking way. And that is why I, well, I say hookup story, but I guess it was a hookup. But I didn't have the intentions to do anything. But, I mean, let's be real. I was going to go meet up with a man off of fucking Instagram. So, yeah. It wasn't a catfish or anything. It was just, unfortunately, super weird. And hot guys can be super weird. So, I did end up liking that deep bronze that I used yesterday. But it is a little dark. So, I just don't know how... I mean, it... <sighs> It settles out once, like, my makeup is all blended out and stuff. But, like, right now it does look a little dark. But it does settle itself out. So, I've noticed that the trend is to be in college. One, which I'm not. And two, get ready with me in college. So, what I'm about to do is go to college. <laughs> and do get readies with me 
in freaking college. Because, I mean, if I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I'm not going to, like, move states and do whatever. I'm just going to go to college and do get ready with me, like, before I go to class or a day in my life at the university. Like, I think I'm going to be a college girl. What college should I go to? Hmm. Miami. Maybe I will be the brunette version of Alex Earl. No, I'm kidding. One, because I'm trans, and two, because she's just fucking gorgeous, and I could never be any type of version of her. And there's only one you. Don't be anybody else. It's just so nice. <laughs> this is currently outside of my house right now. There's a flash freeze. Oh my god. And then this little guy, he was outside, so we brought him in for the night. On a real note, though, if I went to college just to do blogs, I have a serious issue. But then again, I do have serious issues. So, <laughs> why not just fully embrace it? Why not just fully embrace my toxic traits and do things that motivate me in the wrong way? I just set my face, and now I'm going to do my hair, and I'm going to get dressed to go on this blizzard. I'm not going to do another Get Ready With Me's part, but I am going to post a little video of me doing my, like, dressing up my boots because it's probably not going to be, like, super cute because I don't have super cute stuff, but it'll be fun. So go watch it. Okay, so these are the boots. They are from Shoe Dazzle, Just Fab. I don't know. I think they're, like, connected somehow. But they are so cute. They have these, like, fur that run along, like, the edges of the tops. Not the inside, but they're so comfortable. And they literally are, like, so sturdy in the snow. And they just give rich vibes. And they were only $10. Um, and then, of course, I went in with my tried and true jeans. These are the Walmart high-rise jegging jeans. They are so comfy. A dupe for Good American. Um, the denim fits perfect. It's such good material. And I have had these for years and never had a problem with them. So another reason why I like these jeans is because it gives me like a little butt. I love instead of like some jeans will cup it on the butt cheek. And I have like such a weird shaped butt that it just makes me so insecure when it does that. So if it makes sense... It makes sense. Like when I say if it resonates, let it resonate. But that's another reason why I love these jeans. Ignore this dingy white top. I literally am trying to go for layers today. But let's put the boots on and the rest of the outfit. Alright, you guys. So here's the outfit. I have on this like knitted top that I got off of my Amazon. It's on my storefront. It is so cute. So comfortable. And it is actually a really nice material. I was super surprised. It was only like 30 bucks. And then this jacket is off of Sheen. I absolutely love this jacket. This is like a Sherpa material. So freaking soft. And I want layers. So this will keep me warm. Like if I don't want to wear the jacket that I'm about to throw on. So this is me being super extra but i love this jacket um somebody said it looks like a robe but this robe keeps me freaking so warm outside um i don't know how to say it like i just walk like this like i'm in new york <laughs> like i've been in new york during christmas and i just keep my head down like literally it has these little things I, I, it just keeps me so warm um love it it is the teddy off of parade but yeah this is the fit, and I am out the door for work, so I hope y'all have a lovely day, and if you are in Ohio, stay freaking warm.